Oh, hello there. I didn't see you come in. I'm Thaddeus Cornwall, and welcome to the wide world of marine biology. Today, we'll be looking at a most exciting specimen. A specimen so interesting that it can live both on land and under the sea. Of course, I'm talking about the elusive, rarely seen, megamouth dog-bodied land shark. Let's take a look. The Megamouth dog-bodied land shark was first discovered in 2005 off the coast of Cambodia near Angkor Wat. The average lifespan of a shark dog is 200 to 250 years, though this is just speculation as we have only known about the creature for 9 years. After years of evolution, the Megamouth dog potted land shark has become a triphibious creature, meaning he can live on land, in the sea, and even in fresh water. Nowhere is safe from him. In a single day, the Megamoth drinks 436 gallons of fresh water. He drinks. And drinks. This is the only way he's able to sustain life on land. The Megamoth dog-bodied land shark stalks his prey. Thinking he has let his guard down, the feline attempts to flee. Unbeknown to her, the Mega Mouth Dog Bunny Land Shark can run 32 miles per hour while hunting. After he has caught his prey, the Mega Mouth Dog Bunny Land Shark tears apart his prey's innards. Leaving the skin of his prey behind, the Megamouth searches for the sweet nectar inside. Sunrise, sunset, the circle of life is complete. Even though he is just eaten, the Megamouth will be hungry in an hour. When it is mating season, the male chants a small hymn which arouses the female. Let's listen. After mating, the male rests for 18 hours, never moving from a single spot. This is the singular time his species is known to sleep, otherwise they are awake constantly. Though not everyone is enamored with this new species. My name is Charles Davis. I work for the Postal Service for 17 odd years. I'm currently on disability due to PTMDLS, post traumatic mega mouth dog body land shark syndrome. Thanks. I suffer from flashbacks due to that one fateful day. 
I was delivering the mail, like any other day. I went to open the mailbox, and out of nowhere, next thing I remember, I was in a hospital in Timbuktu. I was one eighteenth less of a man. <coughs> Every night I go to sleep, and when I close my eyes, I see his face. And every morning, I wake up in a cold sweat in a warm undercarriage. I'm talking urine. They won't be stopped. They can't be stopped. Next time you're out walking your dog, be prepared because the megalodon could be in a neighborhood near you.